Hello everybody, today is daylight savings time, so I'm going to be flipping all my clocks back one hour. First I'm going to do the non-chiming ones, and now I'm going to do the ones that do chime. Drop this one. Hard to do it with one hand. I need to say go on in the living room off camera. That's fine. Got the, got the nightstand, the watch is right here, and I'm gonna do these wall clocks. Next. Oh, there we go. I'll start off with this one. Alright. I'm gonna do the mountain clock. I'm gonna take this off now. It doesn't fall when I'm trying to change this one. This one used to chime, but a little while ago, the uh, chiming thing for it broke off. So yeah, I'm not gonna chime any time soon. Everything broke. That is just great. Oh well. Oh, hey, look at that. I found this one pack. Sometimes this clock can be such a half hour for doing it for daylight savings. This clock, or we'll do this one first. Actually, no, it's a little bit behind. 
Alright, now I got a couple more non chiming clocks to switch. Clocking more clocks now to switch. Um, This one doesn't shine. And I wish it did. Let's get up close to this one. Like the other one. There we go. Take the thumb back off of it. Alright. Yeah, you're probably hearing my um, family in the background because it's blank. This one doesn't try does, but the speaker is too much old. So this one I need to turn back because it used to have a charm, but the speaker is too muffled, so I just have it off for now. Alright, now we're gonna be doing the chiming clocks, and for the chiming clocks, what I do for both ones, except for that black one, is that I set the chimes two hours behind, and then I just will go back. I'll show you this one, I'll use this one as an example. Alright, well, let's finish with the chime. Alright, and then... I don't know why it looks like my camera is too much wounding. Now this one too, even though this one thing is broken. Okay, I'm gonna have to take this one off. Come on, finish already. The one thing I hate about this clock, it takes too long. Oh, 
now but I'm going a little bit ahead. Okay. This one is actually different. Cause well, if you have an on and off switch on the back and no um button on it, I just set it 11 hours ahead. And I'll hand it with I actually got it to the store about a few months ago, about a year ago, so my time's been messed up like that for ever since I got it. This one is this one. So I'll take it off, it's this big. Now we'll go back. No. Come on. There we go. Just good. Oh, okay. Alright, and that's it for those clocks now here. The last one right here. I have to move this clock or the radio in order to get to it. Ugh. Biggest clock I have in my collection. Actually no, it's not the biggest. Uh there it is. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, four, three, four, five, six. I'll well, put it back. And that is it. I only have one more clock, and that is this one. Uh, this one can be hard. Oh, there we go. Now I just keep hitting it. <coughs> Why'd you stop? <sighs> Watch is always having trouble. Like, oh shit, I passed it. Uh, the one thing I hate about this watch is that sometimes it likes to lag and then it just glitches to a different, completely different number. And it's always PM, not AM. Now we're at AM. We don't skip it this time. There we go. Alright. And that is it. For all the clocks that I have. And I will see y'all next time.